I talked about wrapper classes earlier. These are special classes that each holds a single value of a specific fundamental type. For example, there is a class named double, that's with an uppercase D, that contains a single fundamental value of the type double, that's with a lowercase D. Putting the value in the object and taking it out again is also known as boxing and unboxing. The Java compiler has been taught how to do certain kinds of boxing and unboxing automatically. Here's a program that shows you what I mean. All of the wrapper classes work pretty much the same way. In places that would normally require a fundamental data type, like an int, you could put an integer wrapper object. And in places that would require a wrapper object, you can use the fundamental data type. The compiler will look at what you have done and try to automatically put a value in a wrapper or take one out of a wrapper as needed. This is called boxing and unboxing. The rules on where you can do this and where you can't are pretty broad. Just try it and you'll be surprised at how often it works. This program shows some examples that do work. Now these examples all use an integer wrapper and an int fundamental data type. This first example shows an integer wrapper being compared using the regular comparison operator to a literal constant. The compiler will unbox the integer value from its wrapper and perform the comparison. Now be careful here because comparing two wrapper objects this way doesn't work. It will compile and run OK, but the comparison will be only true if both references are pointing to the exact same object. This call to the equals method will compare the int value to the int value inside the wrapper, but there's no boxing or unboxing done here. This is just a simple method call. Here's one example of boxing and one example of unboxing. In the first case, the method named add wrapper requires an integer object, but is passed a literal int constant instead. Here is the method itself. In the call to the method, the compiler boxes the int as an integer object and calls the method with it. Now inside the method, the double equal sign is used for comparison, so the value is unboxed again for this comparison operation. Here you see there's a call to arg fundamental, which passes an integer object. But the method itself requires a fundamental data type. The value is unboxed at the point of the method call, and the value is passed to this method and used in the comparison. Here you see that the plus operator and the plus equals operator will unbox either side of an expression if necessary to perform the arithmetic operation. There are lots of arithmetic operators, and they can all be used this way, just as there are lots of different types of wrappers, and they can be used this way. This is just an example. And here's another example. An assignment operator is used to automatically box a value and store the resulting wrapper in a reference. Now this one is just the opposite. A wrapper has its value unboxed and stored into a fundamental data type. I think this will give you an idea of how it all works. If the way you use the wrapper or fundamental data item is not ambiguous, then the boxing and unboxing will take place. It'll be done automatically. Here's what this program looks like when you run it. There you see the results of the comparisons and the other operations involving boxing and unboxing. If you're not clear on this, I suggest some experimentation. Generally speaking, any place you can use a fundamental data type, you can use a wrapper, and vice versa, except in the cases where things become ambiguous, such as comparing two wrapper objects.